here on behalf of Dr. Shanek. He really wanted to be here himself. He did the math and he figured out in the amount of this three-hour cruise, he could actually see 6,842 patients. I'm really honored to be able to present this plaque to Dr. Craig Alter, Director, Division of Endocrinology and Diabetes at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. This award is an acknowledgement of your professional care to our children. Your true devotion to our community is unparalleled. We are forever indebted to you for all that you have done. Dr. Shanek, MD, Chairman of the Board, on behalf of the children and the families of Ms. Amaya. Well, I just want to first say this is such an amazing event. I had no idea how extensive, how much work it would take to get this going. This is unbelievable. Hashem is the climax, the maximum of chesed, and the maximum of mercy. Kadosh Baruch is the Sia chesed, the Sia rachamim. It is that way. So if he's like that, how come there's suffering in the world? The answer is there is no suffering in the world. Hashem doesn't make us suffer. He gives us challenges. We all have challenges in the world. And the word does the suffering come from then? It comes from the way we resist the challenges that Hashem gives us. Hashem made the world for His glory. Hashem made the world to give us good. So He doesn't give us suffering. He gives us challenges that we should grow, that we should megale kvod shamayim. How do we do that? He does that by giving us challenges, and we face the challenges, and we grow, and that's the biggest Kiddush Hashem we could do. And that's the biggest Kabbalah we could do to Hashem. Because Hashem creates the world. What does He do when He creates the world? He creates the mountains, the ocean. He creates everything. But it's all Him. The only thing He cannot create is you. He can't create you to be you. You have to do that job. Then He could relate to you. So Hashem's greatest joy and greatest pleasure and biggest kavod you can do for Him is to make yourself into who you are. And for that, He gives you challenges so you can grow. And if you resist that challenge, and you don't want that challenge, and you have different ideas of how your life should be, then you suffer. But if you let that go and know that Hashem is so merciful, Hashem is so good, He's going to be here to help you all the way. Just be yourself. Stand up to the challenge. You could do it. You see the gifts that you know what people don't see. Everyone has in their mind how they want to live their lives. It doesn't work out the way they want. They get upset. But, but you see different things. You see different glory. You see different pleasures that Hashem is giving you in a different way. You stand up to the challenge and you see it. If you get depressed, if you give up, it's not what I want, you won't see it. And you'll just suffer. But if you let that go, if you surrender to Hashem's will and wisdom, you surrender to His greatness, and you let Him help you, and you just go with the flow. Hashem is directing us always. He's always holding us. He's always directing us. You go with it. You stand up to the challenge, and you grow. You'll see beautiful things in the end. 
and, and the greater your challenge, the greater Hashem thinks of you. The greater your challenge, the more you can do that other people can't do. Everybody's unique. Everybody's challenge is unique because everybody has special kohot. Everybody brings something to the table to glorify Hashem and His creation. Everybody. So your challenge won't be like someone else's challenge. Your challenge is unique. Accept that. Be happy about it. You're unique. And the greater your challenge, the greater you are. The more Hashem expects from you. And you fix things in the spiritual world that nobody else could do. It's your portion. And when you get to that Shammai, you'll understand everything. You'll see how everything fits together. And there'll be no greater joy. Because what Hashem has planned for you is much greater than what you plan for yourself. Because Hashem made the world for good, to give you pleasure, to give you good. To do that, you have to earn it. You have to make yourself grow. And you will get that pleasure in the next world, if not in this world. And you'll be so happy how your life turned out, what Hashem did for you. So, so all, you should already be joyful in this world. You should understand that. If you waste your life being miserable, there's no point. You lost what you wanted, and you lost the future. Let go. Go with Hashem. Go with the flow. And be happy. Look at all the goodness Hashem does for you. And take up the challenge. The, 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 the challenges will turn into a beracha.